Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, may, uh, you, may, you may note that we are not where we left off the last episode. There's a very good reason for that. That reason is, um, I screwed up. <laughs> I uh, sent Jebediah flying down these mountains here and discovered that you can actually use the suit pack to go fast enough to die. So, anyways, that was funny. Take data, store experiments. All right, let's get down a little further here. All right, run the tests. Keep that data. Surface sample, keep that data. Okay. Store experiment two. Board it, and now we'll get our biometric readings from the surface. Keep that data. All right, now which surface samples did we get? We're in the Great Flats right now, which is that right there. So if we go uphill just a little, we should... Says here in fine print, should be able to get to a second biome. Huh. <laughs> We're bouncing between surface and low space. The gravity here is so, so far down. Anyways, um, I had to land again, is why I'm here, instead of uh, up in the hills there. And really, it's just because I didn't quick save after I landed. Don't worry, that's been done now. I just hope to heaven that I have enough RCS to get myself. Alright, we just need to get a little further up the hill here. Whoops. Whoa! Jebediah, you're a bouncing... All right, we're just gonna bounce a little ways here. Let's just hope we're not bouncing so hard that it'll get him killed, but... We really just wanna find our biome's edge and get the data. Still in the Great Flats, huh? Careful how fast we go. Because RCS is how I how I uh, ended Jebediah last time around. So but the good news is getting back is going to be a lot faster than leaving. Although definitely low on RCS here. Come on, and you know it's probably going to be a lot. Oh. Hey, look at that, we're on the slopes. And now we're in the Midlands. Okay, well, it's unfortunate that we can only carry... Um, all right. All right, just, just stop, okay. It's unfortunate that we can only carry one uh, sample at a time. I'm pretty sure that's the case, though. All right, we've got lots of time to get back. I don't think we're going to take a swing at a third sample. Tempting, though. The slopes are right here, after all. I guess we'll see if we can take a third sample without losing... Wow. Okay, that got us a lot of... Uh... A lot of... Uh... Forward momentum. Okay. But yeah, it seems to me that it's quite probable we'll only be able to take one sample with us. 
on the other hand, the opportunity to get not one, not two, but three samples is pretty tempting. All right, let's get ourselves on the ground and see if we can carry two samples at a time. All right, we're on the slopes now. Okay, maybe either it's not letting us uh, take a, sec a one here, or the slopes don't count as a biome. It's probably just that we already have a sample on us. All right, well, we won't worry about the slopes. I don't think I want to come back here again. I'm more worried about getting us back to our bloody sh into orbit at this stage. Come on, don't hit the ground too hard. Good, okay. Little tumbling never hurt any Kerbal. Unless you happen to fall from, come screaming over the hill here and fall uh, half a kilometer down a mountain. That That's usually a recipe for disaster. Okay, so we just have to get this thing into orbit. I suppose I should plant a flag to memorialize our second uh, trip, and I should also do our uh, two experiments. Which I'll have to do once Jeb is back aboard. The two experiments that are going to help pay for this trip, after all. Okay. Whoops. Almost had it, too. Look at that. Well, at least we're right by the ship. Okay. Going up. Nice grab. All aboard. Okay, now then, let's... Bingo! Hold on. Oh, don't tell me these aren't going to count because they don't have any fuel. Really? Okay, guys, we have success. We have tested the two engines and it did work. It didn't crash the game this time. So, that much is awesome. So... That has covered the cost of this trip, and then some. So now for the hardest part of the entire journey. Where is... Crap. Which one's the actual... There we are. There's the base ship. Let's just quickly uh, switch to that. See what... Make sure it's the one I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. And are you charging the batteries? Yes, you are. Okay, at the end of the day, all that matters is we match up our two... Oh, we got to plant a flag. All right, let's switch to this one. I think we got the right one targeted now, which is good. We need to pop Jeb out and plant a flag. One last EVA, Jebediah. We've got time. Okay. Get us a flag there. Hey, come on. Plant a flag. Bingo. And the text on said flag is going to be Max Minimus One. Maximum making money while doing science. Okay. Bingo. I already got the sample here. Don't be silly. Come on. Okay, don't miss. All right. Oh, bugger. Well, I guess we're going back to the ground again. 
Well, if at first you don't succeed, jump up in the air and try again. There we are. Ha. Board. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. Pray for power, or for the engine power on this thing. Okay, all jobs on the surface have been completed. We are waiting now for departure window time. So we'll have everything to do with the position of the base ship. We have quick saved on the ground, which will give us enough time to plan our launch, and hopefully enough time for us to wind up on the right. All right, so we're going to want to wind up pointing at the 90 degree mark here, if I'm reading this right, because it's going to be coming around this way. Yep. Or hold on, hold on, is that the case? No, it's going to be going... If it's going to be coming up here, then we need to yeah, point ourselves towards the uh, 270. Alright, RCS on, SAS on. Gear up. Oh, no, we're... that's retro... No, wait, that's okay. That's okay. Right now, we just need to get into orbit. It's okay that we're burning retro to target, because we're actually coming into orbit. Okay. Oh my god. Oh well, I've just botched that big time. Well, let's make it an orbit. You know what? I think I might just try that again. Let's see, which way am I going to have to burn to get it right? You know what? We weren't even going to be on the right mark anyway, so... Okay, periapoaps on this one is 18, and apple. Periaps is 16, so we can go a little less. That should do. And then we're going to have to do a ascending node adjustment when we're right at the closest point of approach. I just hope we got enough juice left for this. We might have to use our return engine to pull this off. So all that matters at the end of the day is this thing has to achieve orbit. Once we've done that, everything else is good to go. 12 second burn to achieve orbit. On target. Full throttle to the engines. Make it in orbit. Make it a good one. Did I just run out of fuel? I did, didn't I? Well, that's okay, because we got RCS, and we got RCS to burn. And RCS can go a long way on Minmus, that's for sure. Okay. <sighs> wow, that was almost disastrous. Alright, so... That means we probably don't have enough juice to do an ascending node adjustment, but let's just go around the planet and let's find out. Oh yeah, good god, no. Okay, so we're going to have to do this with the uh, base ship. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. So we'll do a, a normalization burn with this. Oh god, I hope we haven't used up too much of the fuel. I could almost get rid of the engine on that thing now, you know? Alright. So we're going to have to do an ascending node, descending node adjustment, and hopefully... Alright. 
let's see. Which one's going to get us a closer approach? Nine kilometers. 9.1. 9.7. Okay, that's getting us closer. How close is this? 8.9. That's not going to get any better. One. All right, zero that out. That's greedy enough for my purposes. Except for your... Let's do it by hundredths. Okay, that's at 8.9. That's probably exactly where we want to do our next burn anyways, so that should work perfect. Okay. All right, got a control from here. Good. Okay. We don't know how long this burn is going to have to be, but I would assume with our main engine active, uh, it won't be long at all. So we're going to want to do a very, very gentle orbital adjustment here. It's probably only going to be a few seconds long. Okay. Let's just get ourselves enough sun so that we're charging the batteries a little, because that's a good thing. And it doesn't affect where we... Uh, wind up for this burn. I suppose a Alt F5 quick save here. We'll just use quick save number two. Yeah, it's only 20 meters per second, so we've got almost no there we go. Keep it on the mark. There. How'd we do? Where's our target? Perfect. Okay. Now we just need to... How are we going to... We probably need to do... Ah, perfect. Look at that. That's going to put us at a very, very close pass right there. And that's probably the last time we're going to need to do a maneuver like that. Now, I think that encounter is going to be an orbit away, though, isn't it? Is there any way I can get that sooner? Let's see, could we get it sooner if we... Let's see, that's 12 kilometers. Just, I'm just experimenting here, guys. Eight... 12, so that's going to be getting further away. The only way to get closer is with prograde. Alright, let's kill that burn. And let's set a burn right here. All right, almost nothing. There we are. That's it right there. That'll get us a orbit in one hour. Do we have one hour's worth of um, life support left? That is my biggest concern right now. 
Because there's only one way to find out, isn't there? That is almost, this burn is almost a non-event. Hold on, if we're playing catch-up, maybe we should do it from the base ship after all. Let's just switch to this. Let's see if with my knowledge of bad planning, if I can do any better with a little RCS here. Okay. Add a maneuver. Okay, that's getting us further away. That should be, you know what, I can't even tell. I suppose if I wanted to do anything, I should be burning, I should be uh, using RCS prograde to target. Or towards my target more precisely. That might actually get us the uh, effect I want. Just just burn towards the target. Couldn't be simpler than that, right? Not, not prograde to orbit, not retro to orbit, but just straight at the target. There we go, see? Look at that. Nine point two, nine point zero, eight point nine, eight point eight. Okay. Let's see. Just, I really want to get this to happen sooner. I'm really worried about the uh, end result if I spend too much time switching, fiddling around with. Uh, okay. We're currently actually closer than. Okay. Let's see, is this having any impact on our numbers? No, I think I need to... Let's see. Hold on, slow down. All right, the best, bet, the best I can really do is a really close pass in one orbit. Must just hope there's enough juice left in this thing over here. That's really all I need to know, is if, if, I, if this thing can hold out one more hour, we're good. I still have more than half my life support left, so in theory... In theory, it's going to be close. But worth a shot. Okay. Our moment is coming. Look at that. Lots and lots of everything left. Okay, well, this is, we are definitely at, uh, let's change to chase cam, so that our, um, lovely, um, Okay, the, the RCS is definitely a little unbalanced on this thing, but... 
Okay. Perfect. You know, I couldn't have cut it closer on resources for this landing, guys. Not even a little. Okay. Well, I have to say, I couldn't have cut it closer, and I couldn't be happier with the way this has worked out. We've got enough life support left for the landing, or for the intercept. <sighs> no, this could not have gone even remotely better. Yeah, if I eject this, we're going to lose all this RCS as well, so i got to hold off until we're ready to do our burn home. Definitely want to go with the fine controls here now. Perfect. Docking is still my nemesis, but this has gone surprisingly well. I had a little bit of a heart attack when I ran out of fuel on the launch. Remember, the only reason we made the fuel tanks the size and shape that they are was because of this mainsail engine here. If it hadn't been for that, there was no reason to build this thing the way I did. Okay. Now we are coming up to the point where we definitely need to slow down. Perfect. Let's make sure this thing is still pointing in the right direction. It is. Less than a meter per second. Which means we're still coming in very fast. Meter per second is actually deceptively... It's quite fast. So we'll be down... We're going to try and sit around about 0.1 or point two when we're ready, when we're approaching the docking moment. And we're gonna control from here. Perfect. Keep that dead center. Thirty meters to go. Down to 0 0.5. Excellent. Got to keep these things from fighting. You're almost right on the nose. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay, we're almost in the right place. This is a properly do a proper docking right here. I have no intention of bouncing or any other stupidity. We are coming in pretty much as slow as is humanly possible right now. Okay, point one. All right, perfect. All right, we're gonna turn off our uh, stabilizers now. Hopefully, as long as one ship is stable, we should be fine. Of course, our uh, rounding is completely annoying. All right, this is just about right on the mark. Okay, just a little tiny adjustment, come on. Magnetic docking ports for the win. No, come on, come on, over, over, over. All right, I think we got it. Bam! That was a good docking. Okay. <sighs> Try 
Transfer Jebediah Kerman into there. Shut down this. Transfer some life support. Shrink down the uh, nav ball to a more reasonable size. Garg. Life support is the last one on the list, huh? Whoa, hold on. Did I... Oh god, please tell me I didn't... need the recycler. If I needed the recycler, I am going to cry. I will be exceptionally unhappy if that was the case. Because this has gone so well otherwise. Alright. Got lots of RCS left. Lots of fuel left. No need for redundant ship chunks. Okay. Let's just make sure the batteries are fully charged on here. And we'll shut off the power to these three things. And in the next episode, we are going to pray for our burn home. And hope for the best. Oh boy. It's going to be tight. So, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you next time. Bye for now.